Hi, I'm John from Autel. Today I want to share with you one of our new high voltage battery testing tools, which is called the ITS 100. It's a basically a high voltage digital volt ohmmeter with one very unique feature. Now we all know that on a high voltage system, we cannot have the high voltage ever use the chassis ground on a car. So that's called insulation and bonding. And this tool allows us to do insulation testing on any type of piece of orange cabling or even blue cabling, because that's also high voltage, but it'll also allow us to do the earth bonding test. So I want to share with you just how quick and easy this tool is to use. I've got just a short little section of high voltage battery cables, positive and negative cables out of a vehicle. And you'll notice one interesting thing, obviously it's a two regular cables, but they got the, the ground sheathing around it, which is how I'm going to simulate a good cable as opposed to a bad cable. So this tool, much like all the other tools in its class, allows me to select the voltage setting. So I can go from 50 volts, 100 volts, 250 volts, 500 volts, or 1000 volts. Now the standard rule of thumb is always go with one level higher than what the battery voltage is on the vehicle. So if you happen to be working on a Toyota Prius, it's roughly about 220 volts. So you'd wanna use a 250 volt scale. For illustration purposes here today, I'm just gonna use the 1000 volt scale. I already have it set up. To set it up, all I'd have to do is turn it on to the insulation test selection on the face of the meter. And then I would just hit the test button and it would scroll through the different ranges on the, on the tool. Now, I, what I'm doing here is I got one side, the red lead hooked up to the actual terminal end, and I got my black lead hooked up to the ground sheathing. Now, if there was some kind of insulation fault in this, in this cabling, it would fail the test. Right now though, there should be no insulation fault. So all I have to do is simply just hit the little measure button Hold it down for a couple seconds, release it, and now it's gonna lock it on the screen. So this is a good passing test result. So you might be asking yourself, well, how do I know what's a good test result, and what's a bad test result? Well, we give you a little chart in the owner's manual. It's in the back of the owner's manual that gives you known good values for different types of components you're testing. Now let's see what a bad test would look like. So to simulate a bad test, I'm just gonna take the ground sheathing from this cable here, and I'm gonna roll it down, and I'm gonna touch the terminals with the ground sheathing. So I'm, in essence, simulating a short to ground. So now I'm gonna do the test again. Simply go ahead and hit the measure button, hold it down, and you'll notice when I let it go, it's telling me I have a shorted cable. So. Right now we tested for insulation, bonding would be the exact same way, we just wouldn't be hooked up to cabling, we'd be hooked up to components. Whether those components be the DC to DC converter, the high voltage battery case, whatever it happens to be. So if you don't happen to have one of these tools yet and you wanna work on high voltage systems and take your diagnostic skills to the next level, be sure to ask your distributor about the likelihood of you being able to demo one of these tools because this is a real time saver and it's definitely needed to be able to work on high voltage systems safely. Until next time, this has been John and I look forward to seeing you on our next video.